What's going on YouTube Metal Complex here and today I've got another short little unboxing video to do with you guys. I have no idea what's in this box so I'm excited about it as usual. If you are uh, new to my channel, um, this weekend is going to be a fantastic example of all of the different types of knife content my channel has to offer. I do of course do knife reviews but I also like to do unboxings such as this video that you're watching. I also like to do battles uh, amongst popular models. I like to do top five stuff, top 10 stuff. I like to do discussion stuff, a lot of different knife stuff. And I've got a, a multitude or a, a large variety of stuff coming this weekend. So, so to uh, new viewers and to my current subscribers alike, this weekend's gonna be really fun. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into this box here. Oh <laughs> no, no Microtech SOCOM Elite. There we go, that's more like it. Now, how do we get, there we go, perfect, high speed, low drag, that's what it's all about, guys, you have to make sure you're using the right tools, okay, we have, interesting, we have a ProTech, I definitely did not know that that was coming, what else is in here, ooh, okay, so we have a mass drop knife and a ProTech knife, let's get, let's get the ProTech out first, because we can see, actually no, we can see what's on the front of this. So let's get this one out. Oh, very cool, very cool. So this is a Terzola, and I forget the exact, it's a, a collaboration uh, between Terzola and Mastrop, and I don't know the exact, you know, what company is producing this knife. But this is the first time I have ever had my hands on a Terzola, and while it's not actually made by Terzola, um, it is still very, very interesting to me. Man, that is very smooth. Unbelievably smooth. Let's see, this is a little knife, but I can't quite get it to drop shut, but it is definitely, it is definitely smooth. I like thumb discs, and I think I like them because they're different, but what's interesting about this one is, is that it's actually got a flipper tab. Excuse the lighting, it's cloudy today. It's got a flipper tab and a thumb disc. Really cool. That'll be a fun one to do. Okay, let's get into the next one here. Uh, this has like a little, it's got, what? What is going, oh, interesting, okay. All right, I think I know what this is, the theme of this box, the tricky nature of this box. No, I don't know what this is. Hmm, here's gonna be the real test. Watch Metal Complex try and figure out a ProTec knife that clearly has some kind of trick to it as far as opening it. Oh my gosh. This is the first time that I have ever been put in this spot on camera. How on earth does this knife open? Guys, as much as some of you would probably get a lot of enjoyment out of watching me struggle with that, I am going to cut the video and figure that out and come right back. All right, well, I'd love to say that that only took me 30 seconds, but <laughs> that took me 10 minutes. To, I was determined to figure out how to open this knife by myself without having to Google it. I figured it out, but uh, yeah, 10 minutes is what it took. So I had to, here's what I did. I looked back here and found that there was this seam. So I thought, ah, I've seen these knives where one of the scales or a bolster shifts. Um, so actually what, what I'm uh, doing here, oh, the lighting is so terrible. What I'm doing here is I'm going to shift this scale this way and it deploys pretty cool. That's interesting. Um, I can see, uh, you know, having a lot of fun with, uh, with people trying to figure out exactly how to deploy this. But here's the problem with that is um, handing it and say, hey, figure out how to deploy this, and then they accidentally do it, and it either flies out of their hand or it, it cuts them or something. But that's an interesting interesting deployment method. I may not be doing that exactly right, but um, it is pretty cool, definitely. I mean, this is going to be a, an interesting review, and I'm going to look up some more information on it, and I'm going to play with it a little bit. And, of course, you know, like always, I'm going to give you guys uh, my honest opinion uh, on these knives here. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this short little unboxing. If you did, please leave a like. And if you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives 
that are either expensive or inexpensive. So check that stuff out. And if you enjoy all my content, then please subscribe to my channel because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching and have a great day.